Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison out of StampAbove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. We are live tonight on Facebook. Hang on a second because I've got a light that is killing me here. So, so I'm in my new studio. I see Sandra coming on and Linda and Debbie and I think I need to change my glasses. Do you guys like my cute little Santa hat? I know, I love it. I'm decked out in my Santa earrings. We've got our little um, ornament earrings on and then my shirt. I know this is backwards, but it says, Dear Santa, it's a long story. <laughs> so we're having a little Christmas cheer tonight because this is gonna be the last time I see you live before Christmas, right? So I thought I'd spread a little Christmas cheer. I love Christmas and um, I think there's a lot of things to be grateful for every year, especially a little bit more so this year. First of all, I'm still alive, okay? Um, I think we can all count our blessings if we're still alive, right? And um, I am happy that my new year, 2021, is going to look a lot better than 2020. I just know it. I am glass half full girl. Okay, so I see Heather and Joanne and Jan coming in from Wisconsin Rapids and Nancy Ripley. Oh, you guys, um, I have, let's see, while I'm waiting for everybody to get on, did you guys happen to see my beautiful, whoops, let me grab this one. Oh, let me throw this one over here and then I'll show it to you. <laughs> my Starburst cards, aren't they pretty? I love this technique. It's so easy. And it's a great way to use up your scraps. So I've got one that is um, hot dog and one that's hamburger. Hamburger, hot dog. That's what my friend Dina and Barb both call it. Pretty, pretty, right? And then I love this. So you've got this really pretty card here. Look at that. Woo! So if you follow me on my blog, you would have seen this was a blog hop with the Totally Techniques um, international design team and there's one Stampin' Up! demonstrator from every country in this blog hop. I happen to be, well, from the United States, so I cover the U.S. And we um, did a blog hop with a Starburst technique and so everybody made cards with the Starburst technique. If you haven't seen it, you have to go check it out. It's at, on my blog, www.estampabove.com. Merry Christmas, Anne. Thank you so much. I see Kathy Showalter popping in, Kathy Sanford. Don't forget, you guys, click on that share button. Share my video. You can do that right now while you're watching. If you're watching later on YouTube, you can click on that share. Click that notification bell. That'll tell you when I have a new video coming out. So... I am going to, let's see, I my John updates are pretty boring. I have nothing more to report than what I said last week where they have um, lights wrapped around the trunks of their trees about, I don't know, this far up and that's it. It's weird. <laughs> but he's got lights out and that's what counts because I love people who put out the outdoor lights. Steve put some outdoor lights out for us. We've got them hanging on our fence over here. And um, yeah, so John put some lights out there. It's, it's not the most creative lights, but we'll give him an A for effort. <laughs> what else can I tell you? Um, Steve notified me this week. I can't, what were we talking about? We were talking about something and uh, I, I said something like, I don't know, well, you don't have a job. And he goes, you know what? Taking care of you is a full-time job. Huh. I didn't have a lot to say to that because I'm sure it probably is. <laughs> Aren't I lucky? <laughs> Apparently taking care of me is a full-time job. So, huh, whatever. <laughs> Hi, Marcia. Hi, Patty. Hi, Robin. Welcome. Okay, so I think what I am going to do, oh, I need to get me up. I need to get this up on my iPad so that I can see what's going on and bear with me. I'm getting better with the iPad. You know what somebody told me um, yesterday? Um, something just popped in and I'm like, whoa, what? Um, 
that using an iPad is pretty much just like using your iPhone. And I do happen to have an iPhone. I guess I never really thought about it like that. So I think that's going to make things easier for me. If I just think of this as an extension, just another phone, I think that's going to work really good. Okay, so I'm here comes my note. There's my comments coming in. This is good. And I think we're ready to roll. Now, hang on. I need to prop this back up over here. So I got all moved into my office, right? I can't find anything. <laughs> you knew this was going to happen, right? Um, I can't find anything. It's terrible. But I'm, I'm starting to, you know, figure out where I put stuff. It's the new stuff that's causing me a problem. The old stuff, I know what's in all of those drawers, right? But yeah, I can't find anything. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to write little notes. Like I put all of my ribbon in here. So I'm going to write a little note ribbon here. And then down here is my... Um, when I put my stamps together, my little stamp cases things. I like that they're right here. That's nice. In this door down here is just a junk. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's just some junk that I need to sort through and figure out. But I'm having a hard time finding things. So it makes me a little discombobulated. And yesterday, um, pretty much all day long into the wee hours of the night, I was working on getting, I have two kits going out of here tomorrow morning. They are both completed. If you ordered the In the Pines kit, it is waiting for the mailman tomorrow. If you ordered the Press On kit, that's also waiting for the mailman tomorrow. So I was working hard yesterday and all day today to get this done. These kits out of here because when I am done with my Facebook Live tonight, probably going to have a few things to tie up but after that, I am off for the rest of the week. And you guys are going to laugh at me. Are you ready to laugh? So I pulled up my Facebook Live on my iPad. But that's not me tonight, is it? Because where's my Santa hat? And that is not even the clothes that I'm wearing. <laughs> I thought I was watching my Facebook Live and now I don't know how to make it go away. I don't know. Do you guys know how to make it stop? This is an old one and I want it to quit. <laughs> okay, stop. Um, help me. Help me because I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's try that. I'm going to go to that. And now it still keeps coming up on this old one. Huh. I don't know. Oh, maybe that's it. Okay, let me get, nope. I just pulled it back up there again, you guys. I need it to stop. Okay, I think I just threw it away. I'm so sorry. I have no idea what I'm doing here. There I am. Okay, we're better. At least I have the volume down. Oh, I can see that I've got a ton of people watching. Hello, everybody. I'm so happy to see you tonight. Okay, so I think I have everything straightened out. Remember, I'm a novice at this. Jenny loves my hat. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. I have prizes to give away for people that, oh, my iPad isn't even plugged in. That's great. So I'll have to do that when we get going here. I had it plugged in, but for some reason it's not plugged in. Prizes. Here we go. That's the one thing that I really did well today. So my day didn't go like I planned it was going to go. Um... But I did get my door prizes ready from last week. So there's three ways to win. One is to share this video. Whether you're now sharing on Facebook, sharing on Facebook later after I'm not live anymore, or sharing on YouTube. Love it. Yeah, thanks, Cindy. I, um, I got it. I don't know how I did it, but I made it work. I need to practice with the iPad, right? Because I kind of look like an idiot. <laughs> I don't like that feeling. But anyways, um, share, comment, and order. There's three different ways to win prizes from me. And I was feeling like I needed to be a little extra generous because it's it's the holiday season and it's Christmas this week on what? Friday? Yes, Friday. So I've got all kinds of stuff I'm giving away tonight. And 
Um, I did put a note on this so I would be able to find it. Facebook Live door prizes. <laughs> because I thought with all the things laying around, I'm never going to find anything. Okay, first of all, YouTubers. If you are watching on YouTube, I do come to YouTube and I do pick names for winners. And um, so I went to YouTube, my video from last week, my Facebook Live, and I have a winner. Don't Stop Believing stamp set. And I've also got the Twill Tidings glitter dots and a pack of the gorgeous, I can't remember the name of this paper but it is in the holiday mini catalog and it is beautiful. So I've got a half a pack of there. This is a winner that I picked from YouTube. My winner is Alicia Johnson from the North Pole in Alaska. <laughs> How perfect was that? So Alicia, I do not have your address. If you could please contact me, you can get a hold of me via email at kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com, okay? This is going to be your stamp set, embellishments, designer paper. Merry Christmas. Next up, we have, for sharing my video last week, I have a Merry Hello. This is an adorable little stamp set. It's a host-only set. This, along with, feels like Frost 6x6 Designer Series Paper. Now, this is a real, this is a smaller pack. It's not quite a half a pack. And 12 Tidings Glitter Enamel Dots. Yay! Big prizes tonight, you guys. For sharing my video last week, my winner is Perry Overby of Bowie, Maryland. All of this is on its way to you tomorrow, and I do have your address. Congratulations and Merry Christmas. I love presents. I love getting them. I'm, I love mostly giving them. That is my favorite thing to do. So next up, let's see, let's get this one. Next up is for commenting. And for commenting last week on my Facebook Live, I have the beaded pearls. Let me show you guys these because they're really, really cool. Meh. Here we go. The beaded pearls. These are um, three pearls that are mm, mounted on a little three pearl platform. And they're absolutely beautiful. I've got a pack of those going out. Hang on, let me get this lid back on here so I don't spill them. I've got some of the beautiful poinsettia flocked paper. Look at how pretty that is, right? Oh, half a pack of that. And the gold cards and envelopes. So these are cards and envelopes. And for commenting last week, my winner, Betty Meyer of Coos Bay, Oregon. Congratulations and thank you for your comment. And then I've got another one. Usually I only do three, but remember, it's Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Next up is for placing an order with me. And this is a big kahuna. I have the Sweetest Time stamp set. The Sweetest Border dies that go with the stamp set. 2L Tidings green and red glitter dots for Christmas. And also... Some of this beautiful poinsettia flocked paper. Half a pack. This is going out to Carol Pedden, P-E-D-E-N, of Lynn, Indiana. Carol, all of this is going to be on its way, hang on, to you tomorrow in the mail. Merry Christmas, everybody. You know what I would love to do? I would love to give every one of you a gift. Like, that would be my ideal thing to do but unfortunately that's not realistic right and if i'm anything i'm very real <laughs> and uh yeah i'd love to give you all a gift but i can't so hi lisa and kimberly i see you guys popping in here okay next up on my agenda i'm um Feeling a little nervous tonight. I've got a lot of mail to share with you, but I did have to share this first. Check this out. This is a tape dispenser. 
and it's like a clip on so you can clip it on to things are you ready watch this you guys see way over there yeah I just clipped it right onto my shelf and oh I have a beautiful card that came with it just because isn't that pretty this is one of our paper pumpkin kits and just a little something for your new craft room. I hope it helps you keep track of your tape while you're working. Thank you for always being a bright and cheerful, talented stamper. Debbie. Debbie is on my team. She dropped this off the other day. And she brought me a whole bunch of tape. Because she knows I'm out of the Amish tape. Hi, Nikki. <laughs> Nikki's my cousin. She just said she loves my hat. I saw that. So... Thank you very much, Debbie, for the tape dispenser. I'm going to bring it back over here where I can actually use it, but I just wanted you to see that it like it clips right on. It's pretty cool. I think she might have said she found it, gosh, I want to say at Target, I think. I'm not real sure. But anyways, I'm going to put it right back over here where I can use it. Debbie, thank you so much. I have a ton of mail to show you guys, but back to why I'm feeling a little nervous. So... You know, things don't always go the way you plan them to go. I like to be really prepared for my Sunday night Facebook Lives because I know I have a lot of you counting on me to show you some cool stuff, right? Some cool ideas, some cool layouts, some cool new products, some cool techniques. And while I do have something very cool to show you, I am a lot less prepared than I would normally be. So... Rather than postpone or cancel on you tonight, I decided, I think you guys got my back, right? I think you're going to be okay with this. I do not have my stuff cut yet. I usually score for you so you you know can see how I'm scoring. So that's okay because there's going to be some scoring tonight. But here's what happened. I worked all day on getting kits out of here. I am... Um, Oh, Donna, I can't turn my camera around because I'm backwards. Uh, Facebook just does weird things, so I'm really sorry. Donna's asking me to turn my camera around because words are backwards. It's It just is what it is. I can't do that. Facebook doesn't like it. So anyways, back to me and my little issue today. Um, my little issue was little Miss Val came over, and what a joy. What a joy. It was wonderful. Um, Haley needed to finish some Christmas presents that she was making for um, Jared's side of the family. Oh my gosh, they're going to love them. I will share pictures, but I can't share pictures until after Christmas because some of the family sees some of my stuff on here. Okay, so thank you guys so much for saying you have my back. So what happened today is my little baby girl came over and um, she was not in the mood to entertain herself. <laughs> and so she was like hanging on Haley's leg and, uh, and she wanted Haley and wanted Haley. And at three o'clock I said I had to stop everything else I was doing at 3 p.m. I need to get ready for Facebook Live and I will work from three right up till seven to get ready for you guys. And so that's about when Haley came over. <laughs> and so little Miss Val is making her a little crazy. She's getting a little frazzled. She needs to get the stuff done. She has to work tomorrow. Um, Val's not cooperating and here's granny and I'm like you know what I got this I stopped doing everything I was doing and I crawled under my desk and went under my desk through the tunnel and grabbed the baby and pulled the baby back under my desk in the tunnel and now we have a tunnel <laughs> and it was so much fun and we rolled around under there and we uh oh Oh, here it is. We played a ton with the unicorn. She loves it. It just makes her smile. We did a lot of Snapchatting with some filters. We goofed around. We played around. Um, I fed her a bottle. We rolled around on the floor. I can see putting some sheets on my desk and camping under there, right? Because it's like, it's like a little cave. And that's what we did. We played in the cave. And so, Granny doesn't have her project ready to roll like I would like it to be ready to roll. So, we are going to have to start. And I'm going to be cutting paper. And you guys are going to be watching me cut paper. 
and um, it's just going to have to be okay because I made a, an executive decision today that I was playing with that baby. We're good. I know we're good. I know you guys understand this, right? So I'm excited to share my project with you. Before I do that, I know you guys are really excited to see my office, right? I am going to do a video. I did a video on Wednesday showing you all the things without moving into my office yet. But I will be doing a video um, on all the places and things and what I'm doing in here for storage to help you decide on your storage stuff. Because I know I really appreciate that. I like to see all that stuff. So I'm going to give you a really brief little tour. This is not going to be a great grand tour. Um, things are kind of a mess because this is a working studio and there was a lot of work going on this weekend. So hang tight. The other problem I have, you guys, is I can't... Oh yeah, I can flip my camera around because I'm not coming back. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to come back to this view. So I'm going to flip my camera around. Let me make sure I don't have any credit cards hanging out. I do. This is my credit card, not anybody else's. So I'm going to just lay that down. I don't think everybody needs to see my credit card number. <laughs> right? Oh, Connie says grandkids rock. They sure do. Like I said, I just made a decision and I was happy with it. So let me put my laptop down. Here we go. We're going to flip this around. So first of all, look at my beautiful flowers. Woohoo! I got that from my team leader, Ann Hebner. Um, she sent me those flowers, just kind of congratulating me on an amazing year. I not only hit my million, I became a granny. Um, I uh, ranked number two in the country for leadership and number two for something else and number five for something and number six for something and I don't even remember but I had a fantastic year so here's my brand new filing cabinet that bottom drawer is empty and you can see that my garbage can is overflowing as it should be there's been like I said a lot of work happening um this is my little uh one of my mm, you know um Ikea drawer thingers Oh, I can't show you what's in there because there's things. But um, I just keep all kinds of stuff in here. And like I said, look at all my bojigs. I will go through all of these on a really nice tour at some point. This is just going to be a kind of like uh, Kelly's just showing you around. So there's my new um, die cutting machine. Here are door prizes and all kinds of goodies going out to my team for our team meeting. You guys, I didn't get that out yet, so please just know it'll happen before I leave from my mom's house this week. I don't know yet. Like I said, I was going to have Haley come over and help me decorate, but Haley came over and needed to make Christmas presents, so we didn't decorate anything. But this used to sit on my desk. It's now on this little cabinet, and I'm planning on keeping all of my new stuff in here. So these are the new, whoo, new punches, new paper, new toys. Here's my new stamp sets coming in from the mini. Um, and I will be sharing all of these with you in a very nice tour. Here's just a bunch of stuff that got moved up from downstairs. And of course, I had to have my picture from the baby and my sea salt caramels, right? Um, here's all the swaps that I'm involved in, what I have done, what I have to get done. Uh, we got we got stuff all over the floor, just like normal. This is this is not any different than what I'm usually used to. The only thing is, is I have a little bit more room. So I'm walking over to the other side. This is my table that I had before. That is going to be changed. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. So rather than make some silly decisions that I'm not going to be living here for a little while, and figure this out. Um, I've got some big wall areas to decorate, so I'm excited about that. Remember that thing? That was behind me in my Facebook Live. So I've got to figure out what, what am I going to put behind me over here that looks pretty. I want you guys to have a pretty, pretty background. Um, here's just one of my bookshelves here. Here is my big monster paper cutter. Oh, and look, this is where Val spent two minutes today <laughs> because she was having none of that. <laughs> um and then I know everybody always asks me what this thing is called. So I am going to tell you. This is my Triumph. Oh, here it is. It is a Triumph 4305. That's the paper cutter that I have. If you are a regular normal stamper, you do not need anything like this. But this is what I use. And it cuts. I can cut up to three reams of paper at a time. So that's 24, 48, and then 24. I don't know. Whatever the math is on that. Math is hard. This is my closet. 
And this is my giant shelf that Steve yelled at me about and told me it was too much. Oh, I see my battery's going dead. But it's not too much. And then he liked it after he put it together. And then this is just all my junk. So I got to get some more cabinets in here and some more things and all the things. But this is my room. This is TV is going. It has a terrible picture. I don't know why. I hate it. It's way over here and I can't even, I can't even see it. Oh, and look at that. I got that from, um, what is that place called? Hmm. Where I order um, my mailing label deals. Yeah, Vista Print. I did one of their $5 deals. Anywho, we're coming back over to my desk now because I have to plug in. My phone is going to die. And hang tight. We are going to be ready to stamp. I hope everybody's still there. Oh, let me pull some things. Yeah, I got to get things set up so that I know what I'm doing here. That's for sure. Because, whoops, this sure seems to be kind of a mess. Sorry, you guys, if you're getting, oh, my Lord, I just hit something. If you're getting motion sickness, that's totally my fault. And I apologize. All right, the other thing that's not quite right yet is my lighting. Like, it's really dark over here. I think I'm going to move... And I don't have the lighting right. I thought all these can lights that are up on my ceiling, I have one, two, two, four, six can lights in here, was going to be more than enough light, but it obviously is not. So I'm going to have to talk to Fred about doing something about that. Okay, so here we go. Love my paper cutter, Lisa says. Thank you, Lisa. I really love my paper cutter, too. And I can't even tell you how much time that saves me. It's incredible. So... I got, first of all, I promised you guys a card last week, and I'm going to follow through with that because I had this all ready to roll. So, um, let's see. Here we go. So, if you watched in one of my, I think this was in a blog pop, I made up these gift card holders. Well, let me make sure. I'm, I've got my phone set at a different place here so that you guys can see what's going on, but I need to make sure that I can know where to put things. Does that make sense? Anyways, all of these are little gift card holders, and you slip your gift card right in here, and I don't have here. Let's pretend like this is a gift card. Maybe. There we go. You can put your business card in here. You can put gift cards in here. These all have belly bands. But that's what I made. Okay, so I, because I needed some more gift card holders for Christmas. And I like to do kind of little fancy things with them. So, oh, there we go. Here's one with my business card in it. So there's my gift card holders with their belly bands. And I promised that I would make a different card with all of this stuff just to show you the versatility. All of this is the Snowflake Splendor Designer Series paper. I think that it's still available. This is the Snowflake Wishes stamp set. And what I've got here, oh, and then I lost all of my directions. Oh, geez, Louise, I don't know where they are, you guys. Okay, so this is going to be really fun. Let's see if I know what I'm doing. So this is going to be a little bit more challenging than Kelly. Oh, wait. Here they are. Whew. I'm like, oh, my Lord, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. So we're going to bring in our paper trimmer because we need to do a little bit of scoring. And um, this is the Snowflake Splendor Designer Series paper. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Julie says, love your new room. I know, I really do too, and um, I need to get some more storage things because I'm kind of out of space already, and I want things to not be just packed into drawers, you know what I mean? Okay, so this is five and a half by 11, and we are going to score this at four and a quarter. And again, all of these dimensions, whoops, I think I just tore that. You gotta be careful when you're doing this with um, designer paper, don't push too hard. Four and a quarter, five and a half, and then six and three quarters. Let me see, did I? Yep, look, I tore it a little bit, but you know what? It's gonna be okay because I have the tape. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna go just like this. I'm gonna tape that so it holds that together where I scored it just a little bit too hard. Then, 
Hang on, I'm gonna put on, I gotta take off my little um, crazy Santa hat. Whew. I'm gonna put on my snowflake headband. Ooh, I was getting a little warm. Probably because I made the cut, right? You guys know that I start having hot flashes when things don't go well. <laughs> it's so funny. It's a little embarrassing. Not not super embarrassing. Okay, so now we're gonna fold on all of these score lines. And I'm just gonna grab a bone folder here. Here we go. And we are going to do an uppy downy thing. I'll show you in just a second here what I'm talking about. Now sometimes if your scoring isn't perfect, you can kind of line it up and force it into place. And that's what I do a lot because apparently I'm a little challenged in that arena. Okay, so here we go. This is our um, card and I'm looking for the tape. And I can't even, honest to goodness, I put tape on one of these. Here it is. I can't even see it, you guys. It's like you can't even see that I put tape there. But I'm going to make that be the top because we're going to see this more down here. So the tape part is going to be up there. Now, I am going to take a punch. Oh, here it is. The classic label punch. And I am going to classic label punch the heck out of this. <laughs> right in the middle half of it. Okay, so I just punched half and I'm going to punch a little bit more. You need to punch this as wide as your gift card or business card or cash. You can put cash into so that it'll fit there. Next thing I'm going to do is I am going to add a little bit of tear and tape. You could do a line of glue. You could do some tear and tape, whatever works. Okay. So today, you guys, when I was in the tunnel, oh, I should have showed you guys the tunnel. I didn't even show it to you. I'll show it to you next time, or maybe when we're done. Anyways, when I was in the tunnel with Val, super cute, she was kissing me. Like, she was really kissing me, and she would never do it so Haley could see it. So Haley, I don't think, really believed me, but she was kissing her granny, and I could tell she knew exactly what she was doing. <laughs> okay. Now, we need a couple layers, and I decided to use the Highland Heather because there's Highland Heather in this part of the card, and now we're going to carry it through to the inside. So I've got a Highland Heather piece that is, uh, let's see, three and three quarters by five, and then this piece is going to be a quarter inch smaller at three and a half by four and three quarters. I'm just going to make sure that's right because I have something written down that is not right. Yep, I'm right. Three and three quarters by five and then three and a half by four and three quarters. Now, what I brought in here, hang on, I've got a stamp set. Oh, I grabbed a birthday stamp set. And this is the whole point behind making this card is that... I wanted to show the versatility of a, a Christmas stamp set like the Snowflake Wishes because you can use it for Get Well, you can use it for Birthday, you can use it for even Sympathy, right? It's just a winter themed card. So I'm going to bring this stamp in here. Hang on, I need to find, I, I thought I had blocks out, but apparently I don't. <laughs> Hang on just a second while I grab some blocks. Oh, Lord. Um, Rachel was over today. She cleaned all my blocks, so that was really nice, right? I'm going to do happy little bit late birthday. I am very good at doing late birthdays. Hang on, I gotta grab a different block. Hang on. Oh my good lord. Now I'm really gonna have a hot flash. <laughs> I couldn't get my blocks out of my drawer. My lamp just fell down. It's really dark over here. I am so sorry. I wish I could make this better for you guys tonight, but I promise to get it fixed before I'm on again. Okay, let me get 
maybe get this over here. All right, I needed a bigger black. This is a pretty big sentiment. And then I'm going to bring in It's Your Day, Enjoy It. And I'm just gonna put that on here like this. All right, so I think what I would like to do here is use Misty Moonlight. And that is just one of the colors in this paper. I am going to do, oh, here's the front, by the way. I die cut this from the Sweetly Stitched. Let's see, does this fit in here? Yep, sure does. We're gonna stamp that right on this layer. Oh my Lord, I did that well. Whew, a lot of pressure tonight. And then we're gonna do this one. Make sure I got ink all over that. It's your day, enjoy it. Okay, whew. Next up, we're gonna glue these together. I just opened up a brand new bottle of glue. <laughs> Janice says, you're doing great, Kelly. Thank you, Janice. Thank you so much. That does calm my nerves just a little bit. Oh, look, I got ink on there. Well, I'll have to do something to it and cover it up, fix it. I know you guys probably can't even see that, but there is ink there. Okay, now I'm going to adhere this on the inside of my card. If you have a lot of designer series paper, this is a spectacular way to start using some of that paper up. Um, I, I think this is just a great layout. Next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a belly band, and I am going to bring in my die cutting machine. And again, I would usually have this done ahead of time, but I don't, so we're gonna do it. Here's our brand new die cutting machine. And hang on, I gotta find my little plates. I don't know, where I'm going. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know what happens to things here. <laughs> here we go. So we've got our number one platform, our clear cutting plate. I'm gonna grab the winter snow embossing folder, and this is going to be a belly band. So I'm going to run through as much as I can, okay, through my die cutting machine, and then I'm going to catch the rest of it on the next pass through. So hang tight. Yeah, Sue says embellishments are a great way to um, fix our mistakes, and you are 100% correct on that. And they just add to the pretty, right? Okay, see how pretty that is? Oh my gosh, I love, love, love this. Now, I'm gonna put this back in here, only up to where I left off, and you can do a pretty darn good job of making this seamless, like you won't even know that it. I stopped and started. So let's get this in here. We're gonna run this through. I really do like this die cutting machine, you guys. It's super smooth. It seems to be a little bit tighter than our last die cutting machine, which means all your bits and pieces just fall out. Look at how cool that is. Very, very pretty, right? Okay, let's get this out of the way. So I don't know about you, if you have any big plans for Christmas, um, we don't really do any big deal on Christmas because we go. I go to my mom's house. I want to ensure that somebody is going to be at my mom's house for Christmas. That's my deal. Um, I will never ever allow my mom to spend a Christmas alone. I think that's just horrible. So I'll be going to my mom's house and um, Probably on, let's see, I'm thinking Wednesday I'm going to leave, right? And maybe we'll go shopping or something. I don't know if there's even any shopping, but we might go shopping. But I'm going to go to my mom's house on the 23rd, and then I have not had any time to bake any cookies or make any candy, which I absolutely love to do. Now, what I did there is I had two die cuts. I moved one up in the back and one down in the back, and now look at this beautiful frame I have. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So we're going to attach this to our belly band on our birthday card. And, oh, you know what? I need to get out some of that fancy ribbon. Let me look here. Nope, not there. But anyways, going to my mom's house. Oh, hang on a second, because I got some of this open someplace. I don't know where it is. 
I don't want to open up another whole one. Here it is. Okay. Yay! This is the Snowflake Splendor ribbon, which is absolutely beautiful. But anyways, um, going to my mom's house, and I'll be able to maybe make some cookies and candy while I'm there, because I just really haven't had time to do anything here. I don't know what I was thinking. I signed up for too many swaps in the month of December, and I am not even kidding you guys. Next year, I will not ever make that mistake again, ever. Because I haven't even been Christmas shopping yet. Isn't that not sad? I just, I'm very disgusted with myself. But I have obligations, and I must meet those obligations. Except for like today when I took a break because Val was here, and I'm like, nope, this is, this is, this is why I work so hard, so I can enjoy the little tiny things, and that little girl was not gonna make her mother crazy today. <laughs> I was going to play with her. And she really is a good baby, don't get me wrong. Like, she hardly never, ever, ever cries. But she was just a little demanding today. Okay, here's our belly band. And all I'm doing is just wrapping this right around my card. You want to make sure it's snug but not too tight. I'm going to take a tiny bit. Oh, and by the way, the belly band is one and three quarters by nine and a half. I'm sorry, I forgot to say that. One and three quarters by nine and a half. I'm gonna put a little bit of tear and tape at the edge of this. Grab my take your pick tool. And there we go. Okay, so there's our belly band. And now I'm gonna grab some dimensionals if I can find any. Oh yeah, I got some. Don't worry, people. We got dimensionals. And I'm going to take my dimensionals and I'm going to kind of, I'm going to put one in the middle right here, one in the middle right here, and maybe one in the middle right there. We got a lot of middle things going on. All right. I'm going to just make sure my phone is still up here and it's still working right. Sorry, you guys, I'm wiggling you around I'm trying to make adjustments for my poor lighting. Okay. This is going to go right on here. Now you want to make sure that this only hits your belly band because this needs to open, right? And now you have a really nice birthday card that can hold a gift card in it. Right, right in there. <laughs> you know, it works. I'm serious. It really works. So there we go. Not only do we have some Christmas cards that we can put some gift cards in or cash or whatever you want, but we also have a birthday card. Now you could make this into a get well card, a sympathy card, anything that you happen to need it to be. And instead of putting a gift card in here or cash, you could just put in a little piece of cardstock with a couple um, stamped images, like some little snow. Yeah, Jean says she's had grandkids a few, di a few days this week. You just got to drop everything and go with it. And you know what? Jean, that is exactly what I decided to do. Because Haley was, like I said, she was getting a little flustered. She only has so much time. She needs to get these gifts done. And Val was just not being real patient today, which she usually is. And so I'm like, you know what? I need to take care of this because that's what grannas do. Okay. There we go. Oops, hang on. Again, that was Snowflake Wishes. We've got the Winter Snow. Both of these are retiring with this holiday mini catalog. Also, the Snowflake Splendor Designer Series Paper. Let me remove my hair from there. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. We also have the snow many snow so many snowflakes dies that go with this whole thing. The splendor snowflake splendor ribbon is kind of an opalescent iridescent type ribbon that is absolutely gorgeous. So we've got a whole little suite going on here, and it's retiring. So I just want you to know that. All right, next up, let me see. Okay, now this is going to be our big cowabunga dude project for the night and this is the one that I was like a little sad that I didn't have it done better more prepared whatever but it is what it is so 
I have done nothing except make a prototype and I need to figure out like what colors I'm gonna use and all those things and where did my paper go hmm. let's see <laughs> maybe we're not even gonna do this project because I don't even see my paper here any place oh here it is don't worry <laughs> I found it okay so I think I decided to use this paper so let's talk about this a little bit this is the Artistry Blooms Designer Series paper, and I think, if my memory serves me right, I've got all of my designer papers right here. Now, somebody was asking me if I was going to make kits for this again and sell them um, for the Spring Mini Catalog. And honestly, I do not think I am for the Spring Mini Catalog because I just do not have time. It is a very time-consuming thing to do, it takes a lot of manpower to put these kits, get these all cut and ready and mailed and all the things. So I do not think I am going to do that, just so you know. But you can print, you can type this up on your own, print it. All you do is print out this on a sheet of cardstock and cut your stuff two by two and punch some circles. It's pretty simple. It's just very time consuming. Okay. So this is Artistry Bloom. So that is the designer paper that I've decided to use. And I am going to go with this particular one. Let me make sure that I have two of them. Okay, so this is that blue paper because I think I'm gonna need two sheets of it. Now this is another really good way to use up all these designer series papers that you are hoarding. Stop the madness. I was watching hoarding today. It is not funny. It's a real thing and I feel really bad for people. It's hard to understand how that happens, but I mean, it does, right? So I felt really bad for the people that were hoarding. And uh, Steve has called me a hoarder a couple of times, but he has never watched the show Hoarder, not ever, <laughs> because he should not be calling me a hoarder. All right, hang on, all my dimensions are gone. My Lord. Um, oh, I bet you this was, was this? Nope, I just put this over here, belly band, whisper white. Okay, so. Well, here it is, don't worry. I got it. It's right here. Okay, here we go. So first thing we're going to do, so we're going to decide which designer series paper we need. So I'm going to pick this paper and we are going to take and cut this at three and a half inches by ten and three quarters. And again, all of these dimensions will be listed on my blog, you guys. So don't, don't fret about that. So I'm going to go to ten and three quarter inches right down here, 10 and 3 quarters, okay, cut that off, we're going to save this because we are paper hoarders, <laughs> and then we're going to do three and a half, and we need four of these, so I've got one, three and a half, two, three and a half, three, three and a half, okay, we're going to do the same thing here. Now, I want to make sure that these are all going to be the same because you can see that this is an ombre effect with this color. So I'm going to, I'm going to just cut one at three and a half and then cut the end off. And the reason why I'm doing it that way this time is because I don't want to cut this 12 by 12 paper. All of it, right? I don't want to cut all of this. I'm not using this part. I only need this part. So now I'm going to cut this at... 10 and 3 quarters. Okay, so four pieces, three and a half by 10 and 3 quarters. Let me move this out of my way. Next, we have to decide what color we want to use as our base. And I am going to go with Thick Whisper White. Now, Sure, you guys have heard the big deal about our Whisper White cardstock. You can still, as at least last time I ordered, you can still get the Whisper White 100730. That is the only item code of anything in the catalog ever that I know. 
but Whisper White cardstock is going away. We are going to have a new one called Bright White. And this is not our fault. There is nothing that Stampin' Up! can do about it. The mill that makes the paper closed, and they closed before they could tell Stampin' Up! the formula for Whisper White. And if you know anything about paper chemistry, that is a big deal. Like, there is a lot of mad scientisty things that goes into the paper. So, all right, next up, we need two sheets, and I'm going with white, two sheets, eight and a half by 11. We're gonna score both of these. So we're gonna score one at four inches, and the next at eight inches. And this is on the short side. So when I say on the short side, that means this is the side that goes up against your backboard. And you're gonna score on the short side. This is the short side at four and eight inches. Okay, so that's what we have. Boom, boom. Hang on, my little cheat sheet is trying to get away from me. We're gonna do that on both of these pieces. So here's another four and eight inches. Oh, here we go. Okay, now, before we go any further, I'm gonna set those right over here with this. We also need some coordinating colors and we need 12 of them because we're doing a calendar type deal here. We need 12 coordinating colors. And I'm thinking I maybe wanna go with Calypso Coral. So that's the color. Oh, I have some right here. I'm probably gonna need more. Hang on while I go over to my brand new filing cabinet <laughs> to get some more out. <laughs> I really do like the Ikea filing cabinets. They're super nice. So these are all gonna be three and a quarter by two and a half. And you guys see, these are all the things that I would have done ahead of time that you wouldn't have to sit and watch me cut paper because I think that is horrible. It's like just a mean thing to do to someone to make them sit and watch you boringly cut paper and then I was thinking you know maybe I should do a little series where it's stamping raw stamping like I don't even have anything figured out I just sit down with you and spend some time you know you can watch me figure out how I'm gonna make stuff and how I design stuff and what colors I use and all the hit and miss that goes on I don't know oh, well that might be kind of fun if you're you know if you're sitting at home and you some company that's about all it would be would you know having some company and of course I'm never at a loss for yakety yak I'm a good yakker <laughs> yeah ask my husband one time my dentist told me that I had a really small mouth <laughs> I told him I was gonna go home and tell my husband he was never gonna believe it <laughs> and I did and he didn't <laughs> Okay, I can see that this is a little like um, wonky on the end, so I'm just gonna cut a sliver off of there so I have a nice edge. You guys ever have to do that? Again, these are the things I would have done ahead of time, but whatever, right? I had little Miss Val here, and Haley said she might be gonna stay up north with me while I'm up there. So I'll get that would be awesome. And you know what else I'm going to do while I'm at my mom's house? I am going to, I saw that, um, what is it called? War on Grandpa is now available to buy on TV. Like, you know, on cable you can buy it. It's pretty expensive. It's um, $14.99, but you know, it's like going to the movies, right? And so I wanted to see that when I first saw that. War on Grandpa. I wanted to see that when I first saw it come out. And, of course, we couldn't go to movie theaters. Okay, so, so far I've got 3, 6, 9, 10. Did you see how fast I did that? That's a lot of math, right? In Like, like that. <laughs> I was doing tons of math today, you guys. You would have been so impressed with me because I have to do a lot of math. Let's see, I need... Oh, I only need one more. I have to do a lot of math when I figure out the kits and how many pieces of cardstock I need to cut at certain um, sizes. It's, there's a lot of math that goes into that. So I really have to be like 
have my thinking cap on and my A game going to put out those kits so that I don't spin my wheels so much. Okay, so I got that done. Next up, so here's what we're gonna do. I got one of these little calendars, and I told you guys about the calendars, right? They're from vipies.com, and I will put that link again in my post on my blog, vipies.com, that's where I got these. And of course, you can go print out calendars online where you can print them and cut them yourself. But I buy like 120 of these because I like to give these as gifts, um, especially in December at the end of the month. So I always tear this one off. We're done with that one. And here's what's going to happen now. We are going to add these pages to these mats. So this is going to be January, February, and March. So we got... January. Oh, I see Ruth Jarda just popped in. Hi, Ruth. Peggy said she ordered some. These are just really fun to have, and you don't have to just give them out right now. You can give them, keep giving them in January, February, whatever. But um, I also think it's a neat idea if you have somebody who has a birthday that's fairly early in the year to make them a birthday card and put a calendar on it because that way they're gonna look at their birthday card all year long. Okay, so we've got January, February, March. And again, this is kind of part of the stuff that I would have done ahead of time so you don't have to watch me do this 12 times. But I think we're having a good time, aren't we? I'm having a good time. What time is it? Does anybody know? I don't have a clock in here unless it's on my phone and I'm recording on my phone, so I have no idea what time it is. Huh. Well, could get kind of late tonight, you guys. But I am not going to be live next Sunday. I see lots of hearts coming in. Debbie said she ordered the cameras. You were disappointed that you had not had them. The thing I like to do with these is the swap cards because I think they're really cool. That swap, swap cards with a calendar on them. What a great swap card. And as a demonstrator, now whether you're a demonstrator or a discount shopper, it doesn't matter. You can be on my team, you can just be in this for the discount, but you can still participate in these swaps that are just fun to get all these card ideas. Oh, that reminds me. Where is, hang on, I got a swap here. Oh, right here. Hey, you guys, don't let me forget to show you this. This is our team swap, and they're so beautiful, and I always forget to show you, but I want to show you if we have time tonight. All right, so here, let's do this. This is July... Here we go. Now, so what I'm doing is I'm just tearing this whole calendar apart and I'm putting each one of the months on a mat. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a calendar tower. And I saw these online a couple different places and I thought, oh my gosh, that is so fun. And so today, I not only wanted to make this one for you, but I also wanted to figure out a different size one and you know, do all the measuring and get all that together so I can share that with you too. That's not going to happen <laughs> because I had a little bit too much fun in the tunnel with Val. So maybe we'll do that one on a different day. But before I forget, I do want to tell you guys that Celebration, which is the biggest promotion of the year for every $50 that you spend starting January 5th, you get to pick a free item out of the celebration brochure. Now, mini catalogs are June or January to June. A spring mini catalog is arriving all over the country world, probably um, in the next week or two. Some people have got theirs already, some people haven't. But if you got one from me, I'm just going to pull off this crummy stuff at the top of my calendar, you know, that little gluey stuff. If you got one of them from me, you will get the other one. Because I've had some people contact me and say, can you, I got the celebration brochure, can you send me the mini catalog? If I sent you the celebration brochure, the mini catalog is also selected to come to you. Because I didn't, everybody who's getting one is getting both. I, I hope that makes sense. So, those should be arriving before the end of December, number one. But I want to make you, make sure you guys know that 
celebration has always, as long as I've been a demonstrator for 16 years, it has always, always been January, February, and March. No more. It's only January and February, so you only have two months, not three, to collect all the free stuff. I just want you to know that. So get a jump start on that. That Christmas money you have coming in, get those taxes done early in January because I know a lot of people rely on these things for their celebration. All right, next up, here's what we're going to do. We are going to put our tower together. So we've got these two score lines here. This is an 8.5 by 11, scored at 4 and 8, and I've got two pieces like this. So I'm going to fold out my score line. We are going to burnish that edge nicely. We're going to fold on this one too, just like this. Okay, this is what we have. Whoops, let me get it over here where you can maybe see it. And again, I apologize for the lighting tonight, you guys. It looks really crappy on my iPad. I'm thinking it's not good. But I will do everything I can to get this fixed for next Facebook Live because this is not working for me. I don't like it. Steve Atchison is watching. Hi, Steve Atchison. Steve Atchison is watching from the living room. Steve went up north hunting. He didn't get anything, but he enjoyed his time in the woods. He got the four-wheeler all dirty, so that was nice. <laughs> okay, tear and tape. This is the best adhesive to use. Oh, Mickey says it looks okay. Thank you, Mickey. See, where I am right now, this right down here in this bottom right corner looks super, super dark on my iPad. So I'm like, oh my gosh, my lighting is horrendous. Okay, so I'll have to watch my Facebook Live a little bit of it when I'm done here tonight. Um, I hope to have my pictures and stuff loaded up on my blog and my YouTube video out because I have to upload it from here on Facebook to YouTube and then release that to my YouTube followers. I hope to have that all done tonight before I go to bed, but I'm, I'm very serious about I'm going to be off for a few days. And I know, I'm like, well, geez, you were just off for Thanksgiving. But it's like, yep, I was. But you know what? I have been working so many hours since then. And even though you guys don't see me but once a week or twice a week or maybe three times a week in videos or a Facebook Live, there's so much other things that are happening behind the scenes. I almost folded this on there. <laughs> don't do that. So I just pulled the tear and tape off of here. And here's what we're going to do. We are going to lay this down, line it up just like that, press it down, and here's what we've done. We have put that little tab as a seam together on our piece of Whisper White. And now we're going to pull the tear and tape off of here. So anyways, back to um, I am going to try to be off for the rest of the week because I, like I said, I haven't even been Christmas shopping. I have ordered some stuff on Amazon. Okay, so I'm just holding this closed, okay, just like that. And now this is what we have. Look at how cool that is, right? You're like, oh great, a big square, Kelly. You're a genius. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, not so much. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little decorating here. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add these first. Now remember, I don't have this one made yet, so this is going to be different than the one that I do have made, which I will show you. But anyways, I am going to go do some Christmas shopping. I love the holidays. Like, I love them, and I have not been able to partake in any of it yet, and it's really making me sad, and I keep saying to myself, Kelly, 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 life is too damn short. You need to stop and smell the roses or the poinsettias or the whatevers. And I need to take a little break and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I know you guys will understand and I'll be back um, probably the week between Christmas and New Year's. I am going to probably be doing a Facebook Live every day because it's celebration is coming. So don't worry, I will be back. I'm just gonna take a short little break, five days. And then I'll come back and rock your socks off with all this new, amazing, unbelievable product. I can't hardly wait. 
I've been making a lot of swap cards, like I said, so I've been able to play with this stuff for the last couple weeks, and it is really fun. I can't wait to do that with you. So did you see what I just did? The purple part should be up there, but it's down here, so whatever. I'm not going to have a hot flash over that. <laughs> That's just not that important. But if you have ombre paper, if you're using this paper, you may want to pay attention to that because I'm just yickety yakking all over. So I'm going to put the purple at the top. Maybe I should do every other one. Yeah, I'm going to switch it. How about that? Then it'll look like I did it on purpose if anybody would even notice such a thing, which they probably wouldn't. Okay, so now what do you think of our tower? Pretty cool, right? Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take three months and we're going to put them each on a panel, okay? So how I did the one that I made, hang on, i got to take my jacket off because I am going to have a hot flash, but it's not over the ombre. <laughs> oh, who would have thunk it? Okay, we're going to put this on here. Oh, and by the way, shout out to the husbands who have been contacting me lately getting gift certificates for their wives for Christmas and we had a birthday. So congratulations to the ladies who got exactly what they wanted. And you guys remember, no matter what kind of event it is, whether it's Christmas, birthday, anniversary, you can have the hubbies contact me and he and I will work everything out and get you a gift certificate so you can buy whatever the heck you want, right? That's fun. Okay, January, February, March. April, May, June. So let's get these on here. And in a perfect world, I would have had these done so you wouldn't have to watch me do all this. But we're not in a perfect world tonight, are we? We're not in Kelly's fantasy land that happens on Sunday nights sometimes. It's not usually fantasy. There's usually a lot that goes wrong. <laughs> Sunday Night Live isn't there, you guys. Yeah, but it just makes it more fun, and it builds a lot of character. <laughs> How much can she take? No, it's really, it is. It's not a big deal. When I first started Facebook Lives and things went wrong, oh my lord, I if there would have been a lid on my head that could blow off and blow steam, it would have happened, but meh, whatever. July, August, September. Because I know I'm among friends, and you guys are just always so generous and so patient with me. Judy, Judy says, all is well. <laughs> That's right, Judy, I like that. Okay, so here we go. We're al we've almost got this. Now, the other thing I was thinking about is how am I going to, am I going to mail this? You could mail this. You could hand deliver it. You could put it in a big envelope with some other stuff, whatever. But, um... If you watched, what did I make where I had to, oh, my slimline, slimline cards. Go back and check out my slimline cards. You can make an envelope just like I made for my slimline cards for this thing. You could also make it a little smaller, and that's kind of what I wanted to do tonight. I wanted to maybe make it a little shorter like this, but I didn't get the chance to do that. And it's okay. We're all blaming Val, and she's quite frankly at home going, Granny, don't give a crap about your calendar. <laughs> right? She doesn't give two hoots about my calendar. She's like, um, we had fun in the tunnel, and I gave you a lot of kisses, and we did a lot of Snapchats. Yeah, I like using the Snapchat filters, because I think they're just hysterical. Okay. Whoops, did you see what I did? Did you guys catch it? Don't do it! That was October. I need to put November in first. Because I'm talking about Val. She just... <laughs> She's going to be so fun this year at Christmas. I can't hardly wait. I got... Um, I'll show you Haley and Jared's Christmas card. They did a photo card. It is the most precious thing ever. Okay, so what do you guys think here? Yeah, Sandra, thank you for catching the October. No, 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 October 1st. Thanks, you guys. You guys are right on top of it. Okay, so now what's left of this is to decorate these top panels, right? So here's what I came up with. Where's my, here's my little stampy mat. Let me move this out of the way. Then I brought in, hang on. I got a stamp set here someplace. 
One of my favorite ones, oh, I'll show you that one later, um, is the Butterfly Gala. Let's get this where I need it to be. I just thought butterflies would be in, cool in here, and I like the, the sentiments in here. A little note, the good things in life are better with you. Hello, beautiful, you've been on my mind. These are great sentiments for calendar. So here's what I'm gonna do. I brought out some punches. I've got my Label Me Lovely. And again, I have not made this particular one, so I have no clue if this is gonna work, if it's not gonna work, I don't know. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some more of the, what's this called? Artistry Blooms Designer Series Paper. I've got my Memento Black ink pad here. Oh, let's see. What do I want to use? Do I want to use some more Calypso Coral? Mm, maybe some Mango Melody. Let's try Mango Melody. I'm going to try some Mango. Oops, that's in the top drawer. Hang on. Mango Melody. Here we go. Here's some Mango Melody. Oh, I love this color. My friend Kelly from Iowa does not like it at all. It makes me very sad. I keep trying to convert her. Okay, label me lovely with Mango Melody. I am going to maybe punch a couple of these. I don't know. And then, so my idea is, you guys, is we're going to take and we're going to put this Oops, something just fell in the abyss. <laughs> We're gonna do something like this, okay? So what I wanna do here is I want to take my sentiments. I have, hello, beautiful. And I'm going to bring that in and I'm gonna stamp that right there. Oh, that turned out really quite well. <laughs> I'm shocked. And then I've got the other sentiment that says the good things in life are better with you. What a great greeting for a calendar, right? Okay, we'll leave this open for a second because we're gonna take, I'm gonna move, just move these out of the way. I'm gonna take some of the designer series paper here and this is the one with that on the back and I'm gonna stamp some butterflies on here. Oh, I better do it the right way so I can get my punch in. So hang on, we got our Memento ink. Here comes some butterflies. Oh my gosh, I love this particular one. I mean, all of the butterflies in the stamp set called Butterfly Gala are very pretty. But look at these. Like, these are just so very cool. Let me see if I can get them in the camera. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I've got a couple of those, so hang tight. Let me get my butterfly punch. This is our butterfly duet punch, and this is why I needed to punch these or stamp these at the bottom so I could get this punch in there. And, oh, I don't have any body. Oh my Lord, our butterfly has no bod. Where's that, is that gonna work? Well, I'm gonna try and punch it without a bod. <laughs> we'll see. I just noticed that there's no body on this. That's weird. Here we go. There's a lot to look at when you're lining up this punch because there's two different ones there. Where'd my little butterfly go? Did you guys see it? Oh, here it is. All right, so here's our little butterfly. Here's our bigger butterfly. Ooh, ooh, I think I like it. I think I like it. Okay, so hang on. Where'd our, there's our thing. Okay, so let's do a couple more here. And I want to pick out some embellishments, too. Does anybody know what time it is? I have no idea what time. Have I, like, taken your entire night up now? Are you guys ready to drop? <laughs> I'm waiting for somebody to comment. What are you guys drinking? I have my boring lemonade, but it's delicious. I love it. Okay, so here comes these things in. Then... Let's see, I think, I think I want, I have some, just some little scrappy doodles here, okay? And I think I wanna do a little butterfly. It's 8.13, okay, we're doing really quite well then. I'm just gonna do some of these little butterflies. 
So if you see, I just stamped the little one. Now I'm gonna come in and punch the little one. There we go, boom. And boom. Okay, here we go. Uh oh, where did that one go? Oh, here it is. Okay, so let's bring our tower back in. See now, these are all the things that I would goof around with just to get them just right. Okay, so I think this is gonna go here, and I'm ready for that. Add a little, oops, <laughs> a little glue. I'm gonna put this right in here. Oh, you know what? That would be nice on dimensionals, but maybe we'll put our butterflies on dimensionals, so it'll be okay. And then, oh no, I I don't want to do that one. I want to save that one. I want to do this one. This is January, and I want this to be the first sentiment on the calendar. Hello, beautiful. Okay? Then I'm going to take this one, and we're going to skip, and we're going to put it right over here. Now, you can find other sentiments and add a sentiment to each one. But here's my idea, is that I kind of want to... Okay, this is going to go good here. I'm going to get out my mini dimensionals. Here they are. I'm gonna do this on the back of my butterflies. Let's see. Oh my goodness, I am hungry. Do you know that I realized, well I ate beef jerky for my meal today. I know that's probably not that great, but you know, it's, there's a lot of worse things you can eat, right? Um. Well, and jalapeno potato chips. <laughs> so that's where I blew it today. And I'm all out of uh, Donkers Seaside. How do you say that? Donkers caramel, sea salt caramels. I ate all of those. And Connie, I know you're watching. It's okay. I can be okay without any for a little while. Lord knows. I am going to have plenty to eat as soon as I get to make my candy and cookies. So, have you guys ever done the, um, what are they called? The um, bugles dipped in white chocolate. So you take the bugles and you dip them in white chocolate and they're like little Santa hats. They are our favorite. So I have to make a million of those. Sometimes this time of year is really hard to find the bugles because they're all out of them, the stores are all out. So I'm hoping I won't run into those kind of problems getting all my things from my Christmas candy and cookies that you know the kids love and they are, look forward to and they're like, mom, where's this? How come you didn't make that? Blah, 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 you know? <laughs> they're not naggy like that, I just said it like that because that's funnier than saying the way it is, right? <laughs> okay, look, look, butterflies, I love them. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to this one. We're gonna do some butterfly things over here. <gasps> Marilyn says, oh yes, did you have to remind me of the bugles? Um, yeah, Marilyn, and you're welcome. Hello. If you don't make the bugles, your family is gonna be like, uh, what's up with Ma? Anybody know, you know, did she have a stroke? What's going on? <laughs> They're just teasing. But you know, they are gonna think you're a lunatic if you don't make the bugles. Okay, so I wanna look at, oh, here's my other, I think I'm gonna go with my other little orange one. Now I'm just trying to make these so you can see them, right? Because this is orange on kind of the purpley. There we go. And then these darker ones are going to look prettier on this mango. And then I'm going to go over here. And you could put as many little, I mean, you could put little butterflies, you guys, all over the place. You could have little butterflies. Let's see. Hang on. Let's, let's just, I'm not going to stamp them, but I'm just going to punch them. You could do little butterflies everywhere. So we could have some butterflies here and a butterfly right here. And okay, so you could really just dude this all up. Dude it up. All right, so there we go. And now I think we need some little embellishments. Let's see, what should we use? This is how I store my embellishments. I don't know if I really like it or not. I may need to find something different, but okay, those are pretty. I like these. These are the uh, adhesive backed. Let's keep looking in here. Woo! 
Ooh, these are pretty. Ooh, I love these. Okay. These are the, I think they're the Artistry Blooms sequins. They're still available. Hang on, I got sequins everywhere. Yeah, see, this is why I'm just not real thrilled about the way that I store these. It's working okay today, but... Yeah, so I have all these little category things, and uh, it's just not that great. It's just not a really good way to do it. Oh, and by the way, you guys, guess what I found when I was when I moved out of my office? Which, by the way, I wish I would have wore my Fitbit that day to see how many times I ran up and down the stairs because my butt cheeks hurt, and I'm not lying. But look what I found. <gasps> do you remember this little sizzlet? That's what these were called. This was a sizzlet, right? Embosslet, sizzlet, yeah. And this is called Beautiful Wings, and I remember losing this. And here it was. It was in my office underneath the file cabinet. So there you go. Anyways, that's all I found. So we're going to do some little sequins here. And here we go. Oh, I don't know if I like that color. Let's do some of these. Here we go. I'm just going to put some of these. These are going to be a lot of bling on here, and I think this is going to be just perfect for this project. Absolutely perfect. And you can put as many of these on as you want. They're so pretty. Look at how cool that is. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing over here, but yeah. Okay, let's grab some. Oh, those are. I don't think those are the, those aren't the same thing. Huh. I'm just going to keep going with these. Oh, how about a couple? Uh, oh, that looks good. It kind of fell right in the right spot, didn't it? Here's another one. There we go. Look at pretty, 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 pretty. Love it. All right. And here we go. So one of the fun gifts that I bought for my niece, she's nine, her and her brother, they're totally into all of this outdoorsy stuff. And um, so one of the things that I, oh, I don't want that. One of the things that I bought my niece that I think is going to be kind of the coolest gift of the year is a egg incubator. So when they catch or find bird eggs, they can put them in this incubator and make little baby birds. <laughs> Isn't that fun? It's like going to be kind of like a science experiment at my mom's house. So that'll be funny. Okay, here we go. And I've got one more to show you guys. Look at, look at, isn't it cool? Now, this stands up just like this. If you wanted to get fancy, you could cut panels for the inside. I would cut them the same as the outside, and you could decorate, you know, so that it just looks fancy. If you got lots of designer paper, stop the hoarding. But here it is. This is the tower. I think this is cool. So January, I'm going to have this side sitting where I can see it. And then in February or April, you know, when it gets to be April, I'll turn it around and we'll go with this side. Same thing, same thing. This is very cool. Here's the other one I made. The other one I made, I used the Ridiculously Awesome, which is a fabulous sentiment set. This is the set that was designed by my friend Rhonda Wade. And it says, make today ridiculously awesome. And again, this is a fantastic sentiment for a calendar, right? And then I used hearts and the designer paper. This is the same designer paper, the Artistry Blooms just different patterns. So this is one side, this is another side. And make today ridiculously awesome and another heart. So there we go with our tower. Now if you happen to miss the other calendars that I made, and again these calendars are from vipes.com, V-I-P-P-I-E-S.com, vipes. Here's the other calendars I made using the Ridiculously Awesome stamp set and also the Playful Alphabet. I think that's what it's called. But look at how cool that is. I got this. This is a great, and these are tear-offs. This is a great sentiment. I got this. You got this. Ridiculously awesome. 
Here's another one. Cue the confetti 2021 is almost here and we have certainly put a little hate out on the 2020, right? <laughs> Fill the day with all your guilty pleasures. That's a fun sentiment. And that's from the um, Playful Patterns, I believe it's called. Here's another one where I just changed the designer paper. So this is playing with patterns paper. Okay. Just change the paper. Here's, if you're looking for, wait, this is the first one I made. If you're looking for ridiculously simple, this is nothing more than designer paper. I stamp the sentiment in Night of Navy and put the calendar on. That's it. This one, same thing. It's just a different pattern of the same DSP. I stamp this and put a bow here. That's the only difference. You could crank these out like crazy. Then, oh, I couldn't stop last time I was on. I did these cutie patootie little ones with the Playful Pets bundle. So we've got Grumpy Cat and all the little embellishments. Here's a couple more cat ones. And this was my Facebook Live last week, I believe, you guys. So you can find all of the dimensions and stuff from last week on my blog. Here's the dogs from the Playful Pets. Isn't that cute? These are adorable, hysterical. I can't wait to give these out. And I love them. And like I said, I received one of these many years ago. One of these little desktop calendar things. And I just remember the first one that I ever got, I was just so touched. I don't know what it was, but I was just so touched that somebody gave me that calendar and they put forth the effort to to make it and I thought it was the coolest thing ever and I used it and I'm not kidding I got this is the one I made last year this is sits up right up here above my desk I use it multiple times a day I'm on December um, I will make myself a new one I'll probably use one of these but this is super important to me to be able to have this every day and I remember the feeling that I had because Every time I looked at that calendar many years ago that I got, I thought of the person that gave it to me, and I just thought that was really cool, and I want people to think of me that way, right? I want people to say, ah, this calendar was from Kelly, that's right, you know? So I just thought it was kind of neat. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Really interesting. I thought this was pretty cool. I don't know. I might make some more of these in different sizes and different ways. I don't know. But, um... I definitely wanted to share them with you. And again, I could put this in a, you know, a six by nine envelope or eight by nine or whatever and, and mail this off or I can hand deliver it. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, what size is your calendar, Terry wants to know. The calendars, oh, I had that on my sheet from last week. Let me see if I've still got my little cheat sheet in here. I did list it on my blog, you guys. I've got all those dimensions on there. Hang on, I'll measure. Where'd my na -na -na ruler go? Hello, ruler. Oh, here it is. I'll measure one of my... These are the large ones. I'm trying to get a hold of it here, you guys. These are the large ones on vipies.com. V like Victor, I-P-P-I-E-S.com. This is two and seven eighths by two and a quarter. So I'd say three by two and a quarter, very close to that. That's what this size, and they have smaller ones, but I think this is the large one. That's the one that I used. And you can see that it's, it's large enough to read. I don't have any problems reading this, and it, like I said, it sits up there on my desk, so that's nice. All right, now... I promised you that I would show you the swap cards that I got, and I definitely want to do that. So, let's move all this stuff out of the way. These are swap cards from my team, and I adore them. We do swapping every single month. Let me see if you can... Isn't this beautiful? Look at how beautiful that is. This one is from Lisa Neeland. Absolutely gorgeous with the Feels Like Frost Designer Series paper and the Nature's Something stamp set. 
This one is beautiful. This uses the pretty designer series paper that's in the holiday mini catalog and also I think the leaves from ooh I'm trying to remember what that set is called uh curvy quite curvy there we go and that's by Judith Rodriguez <gasps> look at this cutie patootie this is adorable this is by Kathy Beck if you're in my VIP group, I did a private video showing you how to do this technique. So that's really cool. How do you be in my VIP group? You place an order with me. Now that order has to be in my online store where you're ordering Stampin' Up! product from me. It doesn't include kits or classes. But once you place an order from me, you get put into my VIP group where I do special things from time to time. And this was one of those special videos. Here is another beautiful card. I love the simplicity of this and those red rhinestones. This is by D. Esplana. Look at how pretty this one is, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. This is from Jay Shante, and it feels like there's something going on in here, so I have to open this. <gasps> Look at how pretty. Look at. Oh my goodness. Isn't that nice? So. What was our theme? Our theme was winter cards. Any type of winter card other than Christmas. So we've got a get well card, a birthday card, you're a friend like no other, a thank you card, a hello card. So we wanted to showcase using all of these Christmassy type sets for something other than Christmas. And I think these ladies did a beautiful job. Look at how cute this is. Your friendship is a blessing. Again, that is the um, Snowflake Splendor Designer Series paper. This is by Lisa De La Sandro. Then we've got this beauty. Thank you so, so much. And again, this is like a Christmas stamp set. Ruth Jarda. But we've used it for a thank you card. Cute little snowman. Life is better with a friend like you. Isn't that sweet? This is from Jan. Then we've got this beauty, and this is just kind of a, um, a card to encourage somebody. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. Isn't that nice? This is by Wendy Sue Winter. Beautiful, beautiful card. Then we have Life is Beautiful. I love this scene. I think that's really cool. This is by Denise Dini. What a beautiful job she did. Here's another one, thinking of you. And again, get well card, um, or just, you know, people are locked down yet. Send them a card, let them know they're not alone. This is from Sue Souza. I love this one with the moose. Now, I think the moose is, I don't know if the moose punch is sold out yet or not, but um, I don't know if these evergreen trees are sold out either, but you might want to check that out. Here's a happy birthday. This is by Sarah Simon. Here's another gorgeous thank you card. This is by Kathy Miller, and I think I feel something going on in here, too, so I'm going to open this. Oh, yeah, check this out. Untie. This is, again, a winter-themed thank you card. Oh, Kath. Hang on. This ribbon is... I'm going to get this open. Now I'm bound and determined I'm going to make this happen. Kathy tried to trick me. But she knows how crafty I am. <laughs> Kathy Miller has actually been on my team the longest. She has been with me like almost all of my... She's been with me 15 or 16 years. It's crazy. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Look at how cool that is. Oh my gosh. That is outstandingly beautiful, right? What a pretty card. Kathy, thank you so much. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Let me get this back in here so I don't wreck it. Okay, there we go. Here's another really pretty one. I love, love the colors here. This is by Kathy Shaning. Let it snow. That's a cute one. Here's that feels like frost again. And a, and a thank you card. This is really pretty. This is by Nancy Stormer. Naughty Nancy. Look at how cute this is. This is the stamp set I gave away tonight. It has this in it. 
And again, with that Snowflake Splendor Designer Series paper, this is by Jackie Blurch, another super cute card. So, glad I didn't forget about these cards to share with you guys. And I think we should probably call it a night. What do you guys think? It's getting kind of late. Kelly's kind of hungry. Oh, I said I'd show you Haley's Christmas card. Are you guys ready? Yeah, how cute is this? This is little Val with her naked little butt. You can't see it because it's blurred out, but this is Val with her Christmas hat on looking up at the tree, and how stinking cute is that? And then, of course, we have Haley pregnant with Jared and Val's first picture and then the pickle. Yeah, she's got that tongue sticking out. Super cute. Boots with the fur. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? I love it, love it, love it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I got another gift here. I'm going to show this to you. This comes from my friend Lynn. We met online. She is an amazingly funny lady from Australia. And look at this. She teases me all the time because one time I was calling the panda bears the koalas. <laughs> and so I have a little problem t t telling them apart. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? She sent me the Australian wildlife calendar. And I think this is hysterical so that I know my difference between koalas and pandas, right? But what a beautiful gift all the way from Australia. She sent me a nice card with it, a nice letter. Lynn, you're the sweetest. Thank you. If I ever get to Australia, I am meeting this lady. Then I got this from Deborah Brenz. Look at What is that? It is candy corn Christmas ornament. And how pretty is that? I love this because I love candy corn, right? I love getting ornaments because every year when I put them on the tree, it like is like a walk down memory lane. And then I got this from Judith Rodriguez. Look at this. This is a beautiful bracelet. I absolutely love it. Judith, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. And there is a card. Oh my goodness, I think the card is, I think I left it upstairs on my dresser because I had this up there. But she sent me a card, which is absolutely beautiful. Maybe it's in here. Maybe we'll find it. Anyways, I'm going to quickly go through my mail here because I have so much of it. This is from Mrs. Boswell. Look at how pretty that is. Then we have, ooh, these are swap cards. Where's my swap? I'm getting in swaps, you guys, using new products. So I'm just going to throw those in my basket over here. My um, helper, Rachel, opened all the mail today so that I could get this. Oh, this is from my aunt, Janet and Pete. Yay! Put that back in the kitchen. <gasps> Look at this, you guys. Is this not gorgeous? This is from Wendy Sue Winter. Wendy Sue, you knocked this out of the park. Absolutely beautiful. And she's got wonderful handwriting, too. Look at how pretty that is. Holy cow. Okay, next up, we've got Valerie Albanese. Valerie, this is so pretty. I love that tree too. Very, very pretty. I'm going to I'm going to keep these so that I can read them later. I'm not going to read everything in the cards tonight because it's we're getting too late. Look how pretty that is. I love this funky tree too. Very, very nice. This is from Peggy Williams. I'll put this back in here. Then Oh my gosh, look at this one. This is from Leslie Eggert. <gasps> look at there's little things in it. I knew there was something going on in here. Look at all of these. And there's dimensionals on them so you could use them in other cards. How cute are these? What a great idea. Thank you so much, Leslie. This is just the sweetest. Okay, let me put that right there. Ooh, then I got this one. Uh, Nancy Jo, Nancy Jo Clark, thank you so much. She's congratulating me on all my accompliment, accomplishments. Talk about making lemonade out of this year of lemons. I did, didn't I? 
it was a great year even though we had such a crap year it was a great year like I said every year that I'm alive is a great year <gasps> look at how pretty this is this is from Pam Phillips and family just a really classic beautiful card here comes another one this is from Sherry Simon. I love all these put together, and she did the hand stitching on them. These are beautiful. Thank you very much, Sherry. Here comes another one. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty. Oh, who sent this to me? Tammy Bloom. Tammy is my Monet dealer. Thank you, Tammy. This is so sweet. And this is Restore Leave-In Conditioner. I love Monet hair products. That was just the nicest. Let me put that over there. Oh, this is pretty. Um, as Rachel and I were going through the mail today, Rachel's my helper, we looked at this card and went, wow, we really like this card. It's very simplistic, but it's so cool. So, way to go. This is from Cindy Let's go. Cindy, thank you so much. I love this card. Here's another really cool card. Look at the pink poinsettias. This is from Betty Thiel. Betty, this is gorgeous. Thank you so much. Here we have Susan Hine. Susan loves to, oh my gosh, look at million in sales. Well, here's all my stats. Number six, top 100 global. Number two for leadership in the U.S. Number five for overall U.S. Number 14 for U.S. sales. And number two for team building. Join my team. You'll love it. Look at you, Susan. Thank you so much. Look how pretty this is. Wow. That is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much. You are the sweetest. All right, here we go. Next one. This one is from Pam Wampler. Look at how pretty that is. Yeah, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, Pam. Thank you so much. Here we go. This is from Vicki Davies. Vicky's Vicky's a good friend of mine. Um, she's actually Steve, my husband Steve, went to high school with Vicky and Vicky's boyfriend. They were all in the same grade. And they're the people that we get together with to do the January birthdays for the boys. And so Vicki always makes very simple cards, but they're always very elegant. And I love that about her style. Vicki, thank you so much for this really pretty card. I love what you did with the, with the bunny and the bushes. Then we have Michelle Lutz made this beauty. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Baby Jesus in the manger. Look at all the things going on. Woohoo! Oh, and I saw this. She received with their first card of the season and wanted to share it with you. So that's kind of nice, right? This is the miracle. Thank you very much. Then we have, oh, this is gorgeous. This is from Jody Peterson. Jody's also a member of my team. Look how pretty that is. This is that paper. The flocked poinsettia paper that I gave away tonight, you guys. So that went out with, um, that'll go out with door prizes. Jody, that's beautiful. And we have another one here from Lori Schwint. Lori is also a member of my team. Look how pretty that is. I love it. A little bit of stamping on the inside. Here comes another one. This is from Diana Mar. I hope I say that right, Mahar. Look at how pretty that poinsettia is. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, she got the ribbon and the stars for her prize. You are so welcome, Diana. Next up, we have Kathy Sheldon. She's got the cute little snowman and the let it snow. Look at how she decorated the inside there. Very sweet, Kathy. I love this. Next up, we have Kathy Miller. Ooh, this is the tag kit. Kathy, that is so, so pretty. I love what you did with this. Kathy's a member of my team also. Oh, this is from Judith. This is, came with my bracelet, I'm pretty sure. Yep, I knew it. Whew, very, very pretty. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. She just wanted to thank me for all the inspiring videos, Facebook Lives, always writing to answer my questions. You're so sweet, Judith. I'm so glad you're a part of my team. Judith has been just so wonderful. 
very helpful, lovely. Okay, here comes a couple more swap cards. This is with the In the Pines, which by the way, you guys, the In the Pines is going out tomorrow if you've already ordered it. I do have a few of these pre-cut cardstock kits left, okay? Um, the stamp set and dies are sold out, but if you already have them, you'll love the pre-cut cardstock kit, nine different cards, videos on how to make each one of them. And then also the press on, I have, I think only four of those kits left. And the press on is a stamp set in the mini catalog about coffee. And it is fantastic. The cards, pre-cut card stocks, eight cards. You get to make four different designs, two of each with video tutorials for each one. This is from Karen Nevin and look how beautiful that is. Absolutely gorgeous, Karen, I love it. Then we have, this is from Mary Lynn. This came yesterday. Look at how pretty this is. This is Mary Lynn's card, look at that. This is that diamond, oh, is it called diamond point, I think, where they use little diamonds? And it's a notebook. Isn't this nice? Look at her pretty card. Mary Lynn, you are the sweetest ever. She calls herself AKA Nurse, Nurse Ratchet. I love it. Thank you so much, Mary Lynn. Beautiful wrapping paper, too. And usually I don't open my presents until Christmas, but I just opened that one. Anne, if you're still watching, Anne gave me a present. She said don't open until Christmas. I haven't opened it, so don't worry. This one is from Marsha. Uh, Fetner. I think so. Marsha. Beautiful, beautiful. I love what she did here. And I think this is the back of that foil. I was trying to look at this. Let me see. This is how I look at things. Oh, no. Maybe it's not. But it looks like the back of the foil. Very, very pretty. Beautiful card. Thank you so much, Marcia. Next up, we have Grace. Grace. Oh, come let us adore him. I know. I won't sing for you. It'll be terrible. But my heart's in a good place. Grace, this is really, really pretty. Thank you so much. <clears throat> when I go up to my mom's house, you guys, we will go driving around and looking at Christmas lights. That's like our fun thing that we do, and we take the neighbor lady across the street. That's my mom's good friend. Look at how pretty that is. This is absolutely beautiful. This is that feels like frost paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is from Sierra Bouchard. I know I say your name wrong. Brauchud, maybe. Thank you so much, Sierra. This is absolutely beautiful. Okay, you guys, we're almost done. Promise. Thank you for hanging in there. But I need to give everybody their accolades for their cards because they're so pretty. Here's another one from Vanessa. Vanessa Berber. Vanessa, love what you did with that postage stamp punch. That is super, super cute, right? Okay, let me put that with that. Here we go. Check this out. <gasps> Look at how pretty. This is from Debbie Spicer. Oh, Debbie, I told you that I didn't get this yet, but I did. I asked Rachel today, and she said no. But here we go. Debbie sent me some money <laughs> for a class that she bought. How pretty is that? Look at how beautiful that is. Wowzer. Thank you so much, Debbie. You are the sweetest. I do have your payment for the class. Thank you. And let me see if we got anything else in here. Nope, that was just a card, cardboard to keep it happy. Okay. All right, you guys. I'm going to flip this around. It's probably going to do some stupid things, but I want to see you again before I leave. Oh, I know. I wanted to show you the tunnel. Do you want to see Val's tunnel? <laughs> Hang on. Ready? I don't want to flip you around again because then I get all wonky. There it is. Whoops. There's... The tunnel, that's where we played today. Rolling around in the on the floor. That's what we did. <laughs> it was so much fun. Thank you guys so much. Whoops. For having patience with me that I wasn't completely prepared tonight. But for understanding why. And that that is always going to be more important to me. To make that girl happy. And we'll get along fine. We're, we will get along fine. We're adults, right? We'll figure it out. But yeah. 
Um, I want to wish you guys all a very, very Merry Christmas. Um, if you are not spending Christmas with anybody, can I please encourage you to get on Zoom or um, FaceTime with the family so that you can have an enjoyable time too. I know a lot of people are still needing to quarantine and I totally get that. Um, yeah, I just want everybody to feel the love. You feel the love coming from me. I appreciate each and every one of you. And um, thank you for supporting me. I couldn't do this by myself. So I really appreciate it. I want you guys all to have a wonderful, safe, happy, healthy, Merry Christmas. And I will see you the week between Christmas and New Year's because I got some fun stuff planned. So have a really good one. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye, everybody.